Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create Azure Cosmos account, database, container and items. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and in here I will select to create a resource and I will mention Azure Cosmos, Cosmos TP. I will click on create. Create Azure Cosmos TB account. I'm going to select my subscription. I'm going to create a new resource group. Test. Sir. CDBRG, Cosmos TBRG. Okay. I make this resource group so that I can delete it later and avoid any unnecessary charges. So account name, the have to be unique account name because when you will create an account name, uh, the it will be prefixed by documents.azure.com. Uh, this documents.azure.com will be appended to the ID that we will be that we will provide here. So let's say yes, sir. And for the for the API, we can select Core SQL. You can anything. I'm gonna go with Core SQL. Apache Spark. If you enable Apache Spark with your Azure Cosmos DB account, none. Says none. Scroll down location, you can enable anything. I'm not going to enable geo residency or multi region rights. Click on review and create. It's going to reviewing it. I'll take it, it says that it, the estimated account creation time would be 10 minutes. I'm going to click on create, create here, initializing the template deployment to the resource group. Now it's submitting the deployment. If I'm going to click here, deployment is in progress. Your deployment is underway. Deployment name is Microsoft.Azure. Cosmos TB, start time is this, correlation ID, resource group is this. Okay, when the deployment would be completed, I'm going to get this option enabled, go to resource. So I'm going to pause the video and come back when the deployment is completed. All right, the deployment is complete. I'm going to click on go to resource. And here it is. You have this Azure Cosmos database account. You have the create items container. You have the overview. So let us create an item container as well. You can create a .NET container. You can create a .NET Core container. Xmarine, Java, Node.js and the Python. So this video is uh, already a four minutes. I'm going to create, I'm going to continue with this video in the next video, wherein we will uh, add a database and a container. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I know the title mentioned the container item as well, but let's leave it here and I'll see you guys in the next video to continue this. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.